Monday night's terror attack in Nairobi's Isili suburb brought to the fore the growing threat of terrorism on Kenya's economy. And according to the cabinet secretary in charge of tourism, tourism, which is Kenya's third largest foreign exchange earner, has been dealt a heavy blow by the rising terror threats. Tourism is very sensitive to um, security issues, and in particular, I'd like to mention uh, the terrorism incidences uh, that have happened uh, the last one year, uh, and in particular, the Westgate uh, incident. That has uh, really uh, depressed our numbers in terms of um, tourism, tourists coming back, uh, coming to our country. To address the decline in international tourist arrivals, the government is now intent on rebranding Kenya as a tourist destination with diverse regions and tourism products. In terms of um, surmounting this issue, we are going to segment our country so that whereas we have an issue um, and in one part of the country, we'll be able to um, you know, um, uh, promote uh, the other parts of the country. This as the country looks to the domestic and regional market to hoist the flagging tourism numbers. And our focus is actually to enhance our efforts in terms of attracting domestic tourists. And here, we, uh, when we say domestic, now we are looking at the East African region as a domestic um, destination. Kenya is especially looking to reap from the introduction of the East African Community Single Tourist Visa, which is expected to promote the East African region as a single tourist destination. For The Big Question, I'm Henry Gedaiga.